to you guys it's your girl tony back with another video hi Ugh. hey what's up you guys it's your girl tony back with another video if you are new here don't forget to like comment subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss another video from me ever again i forgot to say hey how are you how you doing <laughs> today i'm gonna do a story time i don't know if those are popular anymore but I'm gonna do one. This story time is gonna be about how I found out I was pregnant. Yeah, so we just gonna get into it. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know, but I was in, I was still in college when I found out I was pregnant. I was in my, literally my last semester of college. My last semester I took like 20, one or 23 credits and if you're a college student you know that's a lot like i think the average is like 12 credits 12 or 15 12 to 15 credits is the average and a regular class is probably like three credits uh elective is probably like one or two so i was taking 23 credits and i think 21 it was either 21 or 23 but i was taking a lot of classes because i wanted to finish like I was sick of being there. I was like, I'm not about to divide these <laughs> credits into two semesters. I'm just going to do it this semester. So when I was taking my classes, I was doing my internship. I was still working. And um, on top of that, one of my classes um, was an elective. It was like painting 101 or something like that. And um, that class, you had to... Like, it wasn't enough time for you to finish what you had to do in class. You had to come after class whenever you could, whenever the hours were open, which the studio was open. So I was doing all of that, juggling all of that, you know. And, you know, Unique was working long hours too. So it was like both of us was just doing a lot at that time. October, you know, that's in Miami. That's around um, carnival time and stuff. And I'm big on carnival I'm Jamaican and stuff so I turned up for carnival that year it was lit I dressed up everything I wasn't done turning up after it was done I was like no I need another fet I need another fet I need another fet I think maybe two or three weeks later there was a, a cool effect going on and me and my friend Kayla went and I was lit I made Unique drop me off and he had to pick me back up when I was up I went to the cool effect I had mad fun. I drank, of course, um, and I was just lit. You know, I'm lit, lit. So when Unique picked me up, of course, I'm lit and I'm talking my stuff. And you know, we we went home and did things. <laughs> I, I wasn't thinking of it any other way. It was just another another day, you know, another event, whatever. Fast forward to like November ish. You know, I was feeling really tired, like tired, tired, but I'm not thinking I'm pregnant. I'm thinking, like I told you guys, I'm doing so much. It's getting to the nitty gritty. We we get down to finals and stuff now and papers and stuff. So I'm staying up late. Um, I'm up all times of the night, finishing homework and papers and doing all this extra stuff. So I'm like, I'm just doing a lot right now, like between work, internship, school, homework papers I'm just doing a lot that's why I'm so tired that's what I'm thinking you know and like I said I used to go in the studio after hours to finish my paintings so sometimes unique if he wasn't at work and he had nothing to do he would come to the studio with me just to ha have a friend because I would be in the studio lonely although it was good to be alone because I would just like vibe out with my music or something and paint but I liked when he came because I liked having a friend there you know this one day he was with me, um, I was painting and my cramps were like dire, like I wanted to die literally. I had like these, these like stabbing cramps, like they hurt so bad to the point where I couldn't even stand up straight for a second. And he was just like, come on, you could come back tomorrow, finish this, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, you're right, cause I can't even think right now. We ended up um, leaving and going home. So, again, pregnancy is not in my mind. I just went, I think I just went to sleep after that. I was just feeling terrible. Uh, probably a couple, maybe a week later-ish, I want to say. It was a couple of days later. 
then the thought started coming in my mind and I was like wait where, where's my period where is it because it's not here it wasn't here this month I didn't get it I don't know cold unique and we both decided yeah we gotta go and get the test I was being cheap and we went to the Dollar Tree <laughs> <laughs> because I was still in denial and I was like, no, I'm not. I'm going to take this and just going to say no. Like. I ended up coming outside to do this video because um, it got too noisy. Okay, I went to Dollar Tree and got a test because I felt like I'm going to take it. It's going to say negative and we're going to go about life and that's going to be it. Got home. I ended up taking it and I didn't even bother to really look because like I said I was in denial I really didn't feel like it was gonna say positive so but unique was fiending so he stayed in the bathroom with it unique plays a lot if you guys don't know he plays entirely too much so he came up to me and he was like baby they say positive so I was like, no, it don't, because he plays like that all the time. So I did not believe him. <laughs> Look, you're lying. He was like, I swear, like, I swear. He's laughing, so I really think he's lying. So I go in the bathroom to look. And sure enough, it has two lines. If you have one line, it means you're not two. It means you're pregnant. And it had two bold red lines. <laughs> <laughs> like it was no oh no not li no nope. two very bold lines saying that I was pregnant we literally were just standing there staring at each other and we were just like wow so what are we gonna do <laughs> so we were just sitting there and you know going through we were like I told you guys in a couple videos back um, he was still going through his case and stuff, so that was his main concern. He didn't know what was going to happen, when it was going to happen. So, and I understood, but I just wasn't with the whole... We was having a baby. That was just it. I'm pregnant, we having it. That's that. And he just, of course, he wanted to tell me what his thoughts were. But, of course, he supported me in anything. And I understood his thoughts, but I was just like... I get it, but whatever happens, we're going to get through it, which is what we're doing right now, right? Exactly. Yeah, so that's how I found out. We both found out. This was in November, and I was set to graduate in December. Yeah. I don't remember who the first person I told was, but I do know everybody that I told were very happy for me and supported me and that's all i could i was just happy for that and again i was scared to tell my parents but then i had to think about it like i'm grown it's not like i'm 17 16 and no like I'm, I'm well over 21. i was 23 at the time when i got pregnant and 24 when i had her and that's another thing I'm happy about. I felt like I lived. I mean, I, I have a lot more living to do, but I felt like I lived for for a 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I lived, you know, I had fun. I did bad things. I did good things. And just because I'm a mother doesn't mean I'm going to stop having fun. Like, I'm going to still go out. I'm going to still travel because I have a whole bunch of places I still want to travel. That's just what that is. My daughter is a blessing. I love her so much. She's amazing. And it was my time. It was God's timing. And she is truly God's child. She is truly a miracle child. So everything works out how it's supposed to work out. Even unique being where he is. That was just God's timing. He said, you need to sit down, think about your actions, and come out a new you.